My friends, last week we did a video on Daniel Larson and the fact that he was finally arrested after all this time. Now, for many people, this was cause for celebration to get this little problem causer, little degenerate off the streets of uh, Denver, Colorado. But now, but now we get to see everything happen in real time because the body cam footage was released, a call from jail in which Daniel just rants and raves and blames it on people like Bob for him being in jail, and also more of that classroom footage that Daniel was taking before he got put in jail now at this moment in the video right here i know there's no sound but he's basically just telling these cops look i need to go to class i got class later today and when you see what these classes actually consist of because trust me ladies and gentlemen when i first heard this stuff i knew i was going to be cracking up but before we get to that i want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor Ladies and gentlemen, this video today is sponsored by Aura. Have you ever wondered how much of your personal information is actually out there available online? Well, that's because data brokers are legally allowed to sell your info to pretty much anybody they want to. That's why I've been using Aura recently, and genuinely I've never felt safer online. Aura lets you know exactly which data brokers are selling your information, and they submit opt-out requests for you, so you don't have to go through all the hassle of taking it down yourself. You get all that stuff off of there. Cleaning up this info not only reduces the amount of spam calls you get, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can thank the data brokers for that one, but it also makes it less likely that hackers will be able to access many of your accounts. Aura really does so much to protect you and your family from online threats that you can't even see. It's really easy to set up, so I don't have to download several different apps to get things like antivirus, VPN, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more. Aura has many different ways it protects you, and you can get everything at one affordable price. You may already have one or two of these tools already, but not having Aura is like locking the front door and leaving the back door wide open. My friends, Aura is always on, doing the hard work of keeping me safe so I can focus on other tasks with peace of mind, such as this video you're about to see today. Look, I value my privacy, and if you're watching this video right now, I value yours as well. You can go to Aura.com slash SmokeyMCC right now for a two-week free trial of Aura. Also linked down in the description below. That is Aura.com slash SmokeyMCC. The internet can be a scary place, ladies and gentlemen, but with Aura in your corner, you can feel a lot more safe. So last week when the word got out that Daniel was arrested, many people, including myself, were very, very confused about the fact that there was no recording of this. Knowing Daniel Larson, he records any little instance that happens that he might find troubling, and getting arrested was definitely one of those things. And I remember there were rumors of people saying, well, Daniel probably just got picked up sleeping somewhere early in the morning and didn't have the time to whip out his phone and record the cops doing so. And now we found out that that's not true. He was simply sitting here at the mall trying to enjoy a piece of Sabaro pizza, which honestly it brings up a good point that, you know, Daniel's someone who's homeless. He only gets like one or two meals a day. And this was probably his, oh, he was looking forward to this slice all day long. And by the time he sat there to eat, he probably probably didn't get one or two bites in before those hands were behind his back and he couldn't pick that pizza up no more. That had to suck. But then again, these are the things you have to think about before you have outstanding warrants, which is what Daniel got arrested here for. Now at this point in time, the cops are taking him out to one of their squad cars and they're going to put Daniel in the back and you'll see a bit of an interview here with the cop and Daniel. And for what it's worth, the cop seems like he really knows how to handle somebody like Daniel, somebody who's a bit mentally disturbed. And he's just, uh, he's very kind to Daniel, which is something the cops usually, you know, they usually don't have time for. They're tired of this dude just asking them a million questions, but this dude seems very receptive to anything Daniel asks. I have to have with him right now. <laughs> It's, 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 hey, hey, buddy, it's, it's okay. Relax, it's okay. Relax. Just relax. remember to arrest. Relax. 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 So I need you to keep this part of the clip in mind, the part where they put Daniel's hands behind his back and put the handcuffs on him, because for what it's worth, they are pretty gentle for someone like Daniel. Obviously, they need to use some force to get his hands there, put the cuffs on him, and after that, they can figure everything out. But when you see what Daniel says about them later, he has an entirely different idea of what happened here. These guys were very understanding, telling Daniel, just relax, everything's going to be cool, while other cops were just told him to be quiet, you know, you're under arrest and all this. And Daniel, even with these cops 
being as nice as they can possibly be to him, he'll have his complaints later on in the video. Yeah, we had a couple conversations this at the mall, right? Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you good. You got your. So you want to explain it to him real quick? Yeah. It's so what we're gonna do too is issue a trespass from this mall. Okay. Uh, it is for life, so you're not welcome back. Uh, we have all your information here. Uh, we're just gonna get a picture of you, and then after today, you're just not welcome back here. Okay. All right, so as long as you stay away from the mall, you should be all good, okay, brother? And it's uh, for life. For life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So if you just want to look into the camera real quick. So we get, uh, you got a bag, property bag? I so Daniel gets trespassed by this mall for life. And I don't know if that's because he just got arrested inside the mall or because he was making threats towards the mall. Because later on in the video, again, you're going to hear one of the, like, the sergeants or the whoever was at the police station that Daniel was talking to say that, you know, we are aware of all these crazy threats you've been making. And Daniel simply chalks that up as, yeah, it's just more troll nonsense. When, at the end of the day, it's something I can absolutely see Daniel doing. All right. Yeah. All right. Have a seat, bud. All right, Mr. Larson. Uh, you get those warrants and everything taken care of, and then we'll see you out here again, okay? Okay. All right, brother. I hey. was aware of the warrants. Okay. Um, I yeah. just have uh, been staying at a hotel okay. on this end of town. I got you. And I am, um, because I'm, like, self-employed, Okay. I, I didn't have enough money no, to okay. get to the court. Got you. Um, and all of my paperwork and okay. all of my... Um, Stuff is at the hotel. So. I got, I got you. No worries. So <laughs> the good thing about this is you're gonna get one of these warrants clear it up, okay? Okay. There's two other warrants that's in the system for you right now. So there make sure once you Denver, get, right? uh, one of them is yeah, one is Denver, one is Jefferson. Once you get those cleared up, you ain't got nothing to worry about. It. Just if you ever in the future was to get a ticket, at least call them to let them know that you won't be able to make it, and they can try to reschedule some stuff for you so you don't get the warrants. That's what I was actually working on doing as okay. well already. Um, okay. I saw you guys um, in there, okay. and I was like, I don't know if, because I was told mm -hmm. that like I can't leave the state of Colorado. I, got you. I, I thought I was following the rules, come back later. so I was like, I am more than aware that you guys probably know about the warrant. But I didn't think that you guys could hey, arrest me on the yeah, warrant. Yeah, so, some of the, some of the warrants are, um, some of them are, some of them are listed the, like, you know, either city, uh, citywide or whatever, or statewide. The, the one that they wanted you on was a statewide, so anywhere in the state can pick you up on that one, which is why we can't charge you with the, or take you on the other two. So that's why I'm just keeping you updated right now. When you get done with this one, make sure that you take care of the other two, okay? Because I don't want you getting jammed up again. Okay. All right? So Daniel lets these cops know that he was aware that he had warrants out there, but he didn't know that they could simply arrest him for them. Now that's because one of them was for statewide, the other one was for citywide, and Daniel thought by just getting out of one of those particular cities, he would have a smooth sailing time just not dealing with the cops at all. And now look where he is, in the back of the police car, not knowing what the fuck to do. But let's be honest, we all knew that he knew about all of these warrants, but he just didn't feel like they were important enough to focus on. What was important was going to his UCLA classes where he was learning about the history of music, and also just working on his music. And also Grace Vanderwall too. Nonetheless, this wasn't even in his top 20 of priorities for the week, but now, now it's his only priority. And it's just weird to think what's actually going on with old Daniel right now behind those prison walls. A lot of people have given the assumption that he's he's probably just freaking out daily and making the other inmates feel pretty uncomfortable now we know what happened last time apparently daniel didn't shower he was smelling and some of the inmates didn't like that very much so this time around i hope he at least learns that he needs to he needs to bathe well have a better attitude on him but it's daniel at the end of the day he's a wild card in there and who knows what's going on but now, ladies and gentlemen, it's important for you guys to remember that clip I told you to keep in mind, because Daniel is now going to be at the police station, and he's going to tell the sergeant just how, just how wrong it was for these officers to be so rough with him. I'm Sergeant Davis. I'm, I was so, one hi. that was there. Um, so when I was met with the officers that arrested me, uh -huh. um, 
They grabbed both my arms and mm -hmm. put them behind my back. Uh -huh. um, it's called arrest of, control. Right. Okay. And I feel like it was kind of aggressive. It may have been a um, little aggressive. Yes. Okay. Do you know what kind of warrants you have? I do. Yes. Okay. Do you do you think that um, due to the fact that you have a history of being violent with other people? that maybe that's why they did that because here's the thing right if they do that and then they that keeps you from being violent then that keeps you from being hurt doesn't it right okay and i i agree okay i just uh feel like it was um aggressive for the m meaning of what they were trying to do at that time i feel like if i was being aggressive mm -hmm. then I feel like that makes sense. Okay, did you make statements that you were going to shoot up the Aurora Mall? I did not. Okay, on TikTok you did not do that? No. Okay, well, they're, they're, that, that's possibly one of the things that you got this warrants on is because of that. Okay, so that's, that's up for debate, but that's the information that we have. So we don't know if you're armed. We don't know what other weapons you may have on you I, so yes. what what do you use what do you use to what part of your body do you use if you're going to use a weapon i you would use your hands I right would use my hands exactly yeah. so we want to have control of your hands and so for our arrest control and the way that we do arrest control is we gain control of the, of the hands and there's certain ways that we do that it's a twist lock and, and sometimes it's uncomfortable right. right it's not the most comfortable hold to have your hand twisted like this right. okay but what does that keep you from doing? Keeps you from it, fighting, huh? Right. Okay. Yes. Right. So, I mean, right off the jump, the cop just puts Daniel in his place telling him, look, we know you're a violent individual. We're not about to take any chances putting our officers at risk. And you know Daniel wanted to snap back in that instant and be like, no, 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 it's not me. It's all these made up words the trolls say. But the cop does chime in and say that maybe one of those warrants is for him threatening to like, you know, to go shoot them all. So, I mean, has this been something Daniel said on TikTok? I don't know. Has he made a TikTok saying this? I haven't seen one personally, but if the cop's telling him that, I imagine they've gotten some type of tip towards it, but he does say that, you know, that it could be not true. So even, even the cop doesn't know for a fact if this is right or not, but we'll have to see in due time. Um, I, another thing is I am extremely popular on social media. Okay. So it doesn't surprise me that one of my fans would have called the um, Aurora Mall okay. and then claimed I said something okay. I didn't because okay. that happens all the time as well. Okay. All right. All right. So I will I will give you my, my card, my business card, okay? Okay. And if you want to lodge a complaint, there's a complaint number on the back or you can call me directly, okay, from the, okay. the, from the card if you have any other questions, okay? Um, I would tell you that you're probably going to get a better return um, as far as someone talking to you if you just call me, if you have any other questions, okay? Okay. All right. Does that work? That works. Okay. Thank you. Oh. So, yeah, I mean, immediately right there, Daniel's like, look, I'm extremely, extremely famous, so it wouldn't surprise me if my fans called and said that I did that. Now, is he that wrong in believing that that could be something that happened? No, <laughs> no, he's not. I know Daniel's kind of crazy, but that is something I could plausibly see that happened. But I'm not just going to say that's what happened because either side could really be telling the truth here. All I know is it's a slippery slope if you just start believing every time Daniel says, oh no, the trolls did this, because it would allow him to get out of any trouble by saying it was this gaggle of people that follow me around. Now, to be fair, a lot of people now will just agree, yeah, Daniel's been getting harassed online, so it must be these people just painting him in a bad light again look what happened the last time he was at court he went up there he tried to go you know just to say his piece get his sentencing or whatever and people were drawing dicks and stuff on the board i don't even know how they did it but i guess it was like some zoom type of court case and yeah the trolls got in there started messing around and the courts probably looked at it like see all this dude is getting is so much like harassment they're even harassing the courts now it paints a bad light when all these people harass him and it gives him excuses every time he does something 
something shitty. So God forbid he does do something really reprehensible, you know he's just going to point the finger at the trolls. Just bringing that up. Um, now though, now you've seen the arrest footage, but now it's time to listen to Daniel's first call from jail. Because apparently the dude Clark, who's one of Daniel's like managers or something, he got a call with Daniel. And it's pretty interesting. Daniel throws a lot of accusations out there at people, and I think it's a good time to go listen to this. All these videos you guys see will also be linked down in the description below, and you can find them on the Larson League channel and the Flexburger channel. Shout out to those guys. This is a call from Daniel Larson, an inmate at the detention facility. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, so apparently this is pretty much all Bob's fault, but it's because, don't, don't tell him this, but it's because I haven't been going to my um, probation meeting because he won't give me my money to be able to get there. Okay, so I have a couple things to tell you, I guess, because I don't know, have you had any contact with the outside world yet? No, I haven't. Well, uh, sadly, Toby Keith passed away. Who? The guy who sings, Toby. yeah, who sings Red Solo Cup. Right. Yeah. Toby Keith passed away. Yeah. <laughs> So Daniel immediately points the finger at Bob and says it's actually Bob's fault that he's in this because Bob isn't giving him the money to get to his court dates and everything. This this is just ridiculous from Daniel. He's been doing this for so long, acting like Bob owes him a free a free apartment. Bob owes him free rooms at hotels. It, it's just because Bob's the only person in his life that gives even a modicum of a shit about him. So he expects this person just to cough up whatever he needs because that's the type of person person Daniel is. When he knows he can get stuff out of you, he'll try to get as much as possible. But when you don't give it to him, you're basically the scapegoat for all of his problems because it now falls on your shoulders that he's in trouble. I wonder if we're going to start getting crazy Daniel Larson jail letters in the vein of Chris Chan's, but Daniel's are just going to be him ranting at Bob for not sending him commissary. But I don't think he has to worry about that because there's still a lot of people out there who see no problem in giving someone who's an accused predator like Daniel Larson a single dime of their money, but like I said, there's also people who spend all day talking to Daniel on the phone, like this guy in the video, Clark here. I'll have another video linked in the description below from Larson Leak, in which Clark says that he spent hours on the phone with Daniel on one, it was either his Thanksgiving or Christmas, but he spent like 12 hours on the phone with Daniel. These guys really, really spend a lot of time around him, and that's why he has no problem calling them and divulging all this info, if you were curious as to why Daniel just trusts this guy so much well how's well so how you doing so far well i'm doing okay do they have you in like general population like with a bunch of other people i guess it's i guess it's considered protected custody general population oh okay yeah so i i'm not quite sure but everyone is friendly everyone is I'm getting some help, you know, from the inmates, and, you know, trying to cope, but, yeah, I don't, I don't know why they put my bond so high. I know, $20,000? Worst case scenario, yeah, and I, I don't think I'm gonna be here too long. No, I mean, it would be max, is what I was looking into, I think 120 days. Time, but I mean, yeah, that's yeah, scary. Oh man, you can just tell the moment that Daniel realized how much time he actually could be spending in there. You know up until this point Daniel probably hadn't been told anything, and who knows if he'll actually stay 120 days. I just think this guy Clark looked up what the usual sentence for what Daniel's in there for, usually how many, how many days you know you gotta spend in there for it. And Daniel, the, the stunned silence when he hears that, he uh, cause he was trying to be optimistic, you heard him, he's like, I don't think I'll be in here too long, and I think in his mind he 
you thought maybe two or three more days, give or take, and I'll be out of here. But when he heard that 120, like, man, like you, it, that shit hit him like a ton of bricks. Because I don't think he realized that, that he could spend any type of time more than a few days in there. And it's kind of like the Chris Chan thing, where Chris was adamant that he, he was going to get out of there in a few weeks. And he ended up spending two years up in that bitch. So who knows? Especially if Daniel shows that he's absolutely crazy in there, he could stay in there for God knows how long. But again, I've said this time and time again, and that is that time will tell. It's like a whole thing. They like surrounded you in the mall. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know why they were acting the way they acted. But anyways, yeah, so I, I'm okay. Um, Thank God. Yeah, um, my main concern is, you know, just how we're going to get this taken care of. Exactly. You know? Um, I know for a fact Bob can't do it all. Um, you know, I don't know if Grace can. I don't know, you know, I, I think it's going to take a team effort, but... I mean, if we already got in contact so far, we're off to a good start. Yeah, yeah. I probably shouldn't even say this, but it's, it's not the problem, but whatever. But I also um, haven't even seen a public defender yet. Jeez. They're saying that as far as safety goes, they are not allowed to tell me when I'm being transferred. She does make sense. Well, yeah, because they don't want your fans coming to bust you out while you're being transferred. Yeah, man, it's obvious that they don't even trust Daniel enough to let him know anything for his own safety. They bring up the fact that, you know, it could be one of the fans trying to break him out. And I know that's all in fun and games and everything, but they probably don't want Daniel to know anything because they know he would spill the beans to anyone he's talking to over the phone. I don't know if they know well enough that any of these phone calls he's making aren't going to be to anyone legitimate, but maybe they do. And they're keeping all info from Daniel so it doesn't get out because he will find a way way to get it out there if they take away the phone he'll write letters if they take away the letters he'll just stand by the fence at whatever prison he's at and wait till some troll drives by which they inevitably will looking for daniel and he'll just start screaming hey hey i'm getting out of here in like 12 days you know he'll always find a way he doxes himself he gives away his personal info with ease it's just something he does and something he feels safe doing to people that he actually trusts and it's always funny because these people are never people he should actually trust um but again yeah it just shows that daniel he's he's not all there and they know he's not all there and he brought up earlier too they have him in some like you know protected general population probably because people have been informing the prisoners of what daniel's done i'll let you guys know right now i'm not going to publicize any of these or give anyone any attention but i have gotten a lot of comments on my most recent daniel larson videos and it very well could be trolling but i'll let you know right now now, I've gotten a whole bunch of comments saying, yo, I've been writing to people in the jail telling them that Daniel's a predator. And, like, I'm not to saying, like, one or two messages. Probably, like, five, six, maybe seven. So, not all these people are probably lying. And they know what's going on, the police. So, that's just something I wanted to throw out there. That's probably why he's in protective custody. Or it's just because they know he's incredibly mentally ill. And also, your mugshot's gone viral, too. My mugshot. Yeah, it's viral. So, 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 you, because I'm in general population, did they make those, those videos too? No, no, there's no videos of you with like other prisoners just getting checked in. Just getting checked in, wow, okay. Well, I mean, the fans are go the fans have done that before. True. But Yeah, oh my god, she was shocked. And I was like, because we didn't think, we thought you would be out by the morning, and then everything just kept getting worse and worse. Right. My big concern right now is just about college. I thought I lost contact with you. Don't worry, Daniel, I never give up. Yeah. I, I knew what I had to do. Yeah, she is. 
and so is the whole UCLA thing because the votes came in later that day and you won but then since you were nowhere to be seen Chang took over so you got to take your place back once you get out well, well yeah and that's not good because I mean we already know his rules and stuff for UCLA for the government yeah it's like technically it should be in violation of the US it, it, yeah, I don't understand. Like, like, I don't know why he wants to put, like, ham dog. Even though it is legal to eat dog in, like, China. I don't know why he's trying to get that in the U.S. now. Yeah, that's weird. So that was a few clips right there all molded into one, and in the first one, Daniel seems very scared about some footage getting out there. When this guy Clark tells him that fans were leaking all of the footage, Daniel seemed very, very worried when he heard about, well, did they get any footage from general population with him and the other prisoners? So what footage is Daniel really worried of getting out there? I have no idea, but knowing Larson, it can't be any good. And then his other big worry is, well, is Grace okay? And it shows that even when locked up, he still cares about the one woman he cares about in his life. Now, it's sad when you consider that she's not, well, she is real, but the one that he's thinking about isn't real, and she actually doesn't know him at all, other than him being the creepy guy in her Instagram comments. So his, his priorities are simply the woman that he's not actually talking to and this, this elusive video that's something that went on with him and the prisoners and then that mess of a clip at the end there where they talk about daniel winning the president the presidency award at ucla but daniel wasn't there to accept it so they gave it to the runner-up Chang and Chang well he's making some terrible rules for the government and again look at Daniel caring about all the other people trying to get the rules you know we can't let Chang's rules be the rules that UCLA is governed under and uh once Daniel gets out hopefully he's the savior for UCLA but again ladies and gentlemen like usual time will tell but uh yeah no, no, don't see no dogs being served at UCLA it sounds terrible um, the final, the final thing I want to look at here, because, you know, th this call, this call was pretty entertaining. The arrest footage, when you first see it, can give you a chuckle, but man, ladies and gentlemen, nothing made me laugh like these Daniel Larson classroom segments that have been getting uploaded on the Flex Burger and Larson League channel. Guys, like, this is literally, we talked about this a few weeks back, that Daniel had been like, going to these fake classrooms, and no one knew where they were being held, if he was just being sent PowerPoints and being told to look at them, or if these were actual classrooms going on inside of Discord calls. And, well, it ended up being the latter, and these calls are just as off the wall as you would imagine, because it's a bunch of dudes sitting there pretending to be in a classroom, and really, at the end of the day, it's all just surrounding Daniel and waiting for him to raise his hand and funnily enough he raises that hand pretty often so let's check out some of the highlights of these courtney heck i'm here daniel larson here uh danny g german here fletcher cox uh jimmy chu it's pronounced chode yo all right and john rockefeller here <clears throat> all right Thank you guys for being on time. So has anybody seen um, any of these movies here? One of the best productions of music that I've seen in some of these movies was Hiroshima. Um, Hiroshima was recently released two years ago by Disney, um, and that won multiple Grammys for its musical production. <clears throat> Interesting. Has anybody seen uh, any of these movies? Or has any input on uh, the soundtrack? I like One Jar. One Jar is very good. Uh, same people who created the movie Up. I like Top Gun. Top Gun is very good. Yes, Top Gun with uh, Tom Cruise. Now we have famous singers, right? Now the people who sing these songs um, for these movies and TV productions um, and musicals usually become famous of what they contribute to these TV shows and movies, right? So you have artists like Ariana Grande. Juice World, Mariah Carey, Bobby Flay, right? These are all famous people who've contributed to these types of songs, these type of types of productions. Uh, Sir Ruben Madake, he was a medieval composer. 
um, in Germany at the time. He was from Germany. Uh, this was a artist rendition of him. Um, very accurate because back in the day, a lot of people would get paintings of themselves. So this was the first song written by Ruben. All right. I went to the town. Actually, you know, I'll have somebody read this, actually, since I read the last one. Would anybody like to volunteer for extra credit to read um, what is on the slideshow right now? Would anybody like to volunteer? Just I would. Okay, for sure. Song by Ruben. I went to the town with a frown. The people laugh over me. It wasn't my fault, and I got hard. Or, yeah, I got hard. On the corner of Orphanage Street. Hey, that very was good. real good, man. Very good. Thank you very much. Mr. Larson gets extra credit. Uh, thank you for uh, volunteering. That was very, very good. Yes, so that was the first song that was ever written by Rupert. <laughs> Those were just a few short clips of all these crazy classroom segments going on. I'm going to have all them linked in the description below, and I highly advise you go and check them out. I find this type of trolling to be some of the funniest because I've been saying it for so long, ladies and gentlemen. If Daniel Larson could just not be out on the streets, like, hurting people, or at least be at the risk to hurt people because the trolls have him going to, like, hotels and restaurants and all that, you know, we gotta stop that. But when these people had him going to these fake classrooms and preoccupying his time by telling them that Bobby Flay is, like, an, an all-time singer, well, well, like at the end of the day, that's just good lighthearted trolling right there. So this had me cracking up, and I can only imagine what these guys had planned if Larson didn't get arrested, but again, that's something we'll never, we'll never sadly find out. Maybe he'll want to jump back into these classes once he gets out, but we'll have to see when he does. He'll, he'll probably just have to really catch up with Grace and get more songwriting done, so we'll probably have no time for these classes. But this is what we know now with Larson. He's not seemingly getting out of jail anytime soon. And that's that's really about it. He might be making more of these jail calls. As a matter of fact, I, I would assume he would. With Chris, you know, people would record them and put them online. And most of the time, they weren't in very good quality. But these Larson calls, I mean, look at what the Larson leak guys made. They had subtitles and everything. It was great. So anything new that happens with Larson from jail, I'm pretty sure we'll find out about it pretty early on. But you you guys know if you want to keep up to date on this Larson story, then you can check right here at any real time if anything happens, and I'll have you covered. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And remember, if you want to sign up for Aura, they're an awesome service. And I got my two-week free trial down below, Aura.com slash SmokeyMCC. You guys are the best. You guys have always been great to me. I've been an awesome community. And I thank you for everything. And until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. And when you're down, just remember something. No matter how bad life gets, it could be worse. You could be Daniel Larson. And thank the heavens you're not. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.